Greetings out there on the internet. My name is Taylor Moyer, coming to you here, Fort's Port in Northwest Ohio, looking at the history of the Maumee River Valley. So, this is our first episode. You have no idea who I am or what this is even about. Who am I? Again, my name is Taylor Moyer. And I am a trustee for the Henry County Historical Society and the Fallen Timbers Battlefield Commission. Basically, those big terms mean I love history and I love the history of Ohio and Northwest Ohio. So that's why I'm gonna talk about it and help you out in building your knowledge and your appreciation for the awesome history that is our history here in Northwest Ohio. Behind the scenes, running the lights, running the sound, running the cameras, all that good stuff, is Andrew Reiser and Austin Patrick. Those guys are gonna keep me looking good. At least I hope they do. And they might edit things on my face. You never know. But with that, what is this channel even about? What are we about? What are we doing? We are giving you an opportunity to learn something about where you're from or maybe where you've moved to and you have no idea, like you're not even from Northwest Ohio and you've moved here and you're like, what's even going on? I see cornfields, soybean fields, and that's it. Something happened in those fields, my friends, and we're gonna tell you about all that good stuff. It was the Great Black Swamp. I'll get to that later. Here's the deal. Our channel is developed to help you gain a little bit of knowledge about Northwest Ohio. So, we're going to be looking at specific people, specific dates, places, buildings, artwork, artifacts, tons of stuff. It will be sweet, I promise. Our goal is to keep it entertaining. With that, I might look a little different sometimes. You never know. So, why is this important? There's a few reasons that this is important. This is where it gets serious. Dim the lights bring in the music. Here's why this is important. Because we know, we hear it all the time, every history teacher says in their classroom, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Yeah, we get it. That's, it really doesn't make me feel any different about history, right? Right. Here's the deal. When we think about it, what we're doing today, it might matter, it might not matter. We have no idea because we won't be alive in 150 years to actually find out if people build monuments to us. And even if they do build monuments, who knows what will happen to them. <laughs> what do I mean by this? What we're doing right now, we have no guarantees that it's gonna matter. But when we look back on history, we do know about people that matter. Like Harriet Tubman, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, all these big names that we hear all the time because they matter so much, which they do. But what about the people of Northwest Ohio, the people who built our courthouses, the people who built the Miami Erie Canal, the people who built the first breweries, the people who fought in the Civil War? Those are the kind of people we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about the buildings they built, the places they lived, the places they died, and yes, for you kind of creepy people out there, the places that they're buried. We're gonna check out some of those cemeteries too. So, with that in mind, we have no guarantees that what we're doing even matters. But we do know that what our ancestors did, it does matter. Why does it matter? Because we're here today thanks to them. So, we owe it to them to honor their legacy, learn from their legacy, learn from their past, so hopefully we can grow, expand, and leave behind a legacy that our future, that's right, grandchildren will look back on and go, whoa, my great grandpa, he was pretty sweet. Or maybe not. Maybe they'll just think I was a nerd. Here's the deal. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff that everybody always tells you to do. Like, let's be real. They just tell you to do it. Just whatever that is. Tweet at me. I don't know. But comment below with any questions that you have about history of Northwest Ohio. Maybe you're from Holgate, Liberty Center, Wauseon, Delta, maybe Toledo, Perrysburg, Maumee, Texas, and Florida. I'm talking about the villages, not the actual states. Texas, Florida, Independence, Defiance, all the way down to the fort, Fort Wayne. 
comment with a question about your history, legacy, people, places, artifacts. I'm going to roam around, do some digging, do a little research, and hopefully our next video will answer your question. Hope to see you coming back.